Hello and welcome to Scale Car Models. I am Rick Arter and today I'll be taking a look at the 125th scale Ravel 1963 Chevy Impala SS 2-in-1 model kit. This kit is part of the California Wheels series from Ravel and it is a skill level 2 kit which require you to have paint and glue to assemble the model as per directions in box art. First what I'll do is show you guys a look around the box, then I'll open it up, show you details and all the parts inside, and I'll let you guys know what I think of this kit. Taking a look around the box here, you can see they have the nice California Wheels themed box art here on the front. Got the nice little palm tree there. You have a nice illustrated picture of the car if you choose to build it as per the directions or the box art. Then what I'll do is uh, look around here. This kit is 8 and 3 8 inches long. It features 95 parts. Everything's molded in white. You also have your vinyl tires, chrome plated parts, clear plastic parts, and water slide decals. They also have a nice paint guide here as well as some information about the car and the kit. Looking around the other sides here you can see just some more pictures of the model. It shows you the different uh, configurations. You can do a stock engine or you can do a modified engine. As well as this you can see here it has a nice opening trunk and there's a stock version or the custom version. This kit was released in 2011 so it is a pretty new kit. And there's another picture of the car there. So now what I will do is open this up and show you guys all the parts inside. Upon opening up the box you can see everything's nicely bagged in individual bags. Have your clear molded parts here. It's a bag with your body and some other parts here, your hood and your trunk lid, as well as some engine parts. It's another pretty large bag here with a bunch of white molded parts and yet another bag with white molded parts here's your chrome plated parts tree here and another chrome plated parts tree here and yet one more chrome plated parts tree here with your stock wheels on it here is the stock wheels or stock tires I should say and here is your custom tires. Both seem to be rather thin, but should look good on the model. Here's your instruction sheet with your decals inside. Take a look at those real quick. Excellent looking decals. They have some stuff here for the interior. They have some flames and some pinstriping, some brake caliper details, as well as some other small emblems here for under the hood and on the body and some license plates. Overall really nice looking decals. And here's your instruction sheet. Typical Ravel fashion here. It gives you some information as well as some photos. Some info about building the kit. And open this up. The new Ravel kits here you can see they give a parts count as well as the paint guide here at the front. And flip through here. Very nicely detailed exploded diagrams here of all the parts showing you how to put everything together as well as some information about getting everything together the proper way and then your final assembly here and on the back they have the decal placement here are your clear molded parts you can see they don't include much just your headlights and the front and rear glass pieces here Overall looks to be really nice pieces. Here are chrome plated parts and as I stated at the beginning of the video there's three individual bags with your chrome plated parts on them. Take a quick look at those right now. Here's your stock wheels. Very nice molding on those. Here are the custom five spoke wheels as well as some looks to be disc brakes here and they do have the decals for those as well and here is your other chrome plated parts tree here you have your front rear bumper some chrome plated valve covers shifter some other you have an alternator here uh, looks to be the side mirror as well as the wheel backs here for the chrome plated wheels or the stock wheels either one and you also have a rear view mirror and a chrome plated air cleaner so overall very nice looking molded chrome plated parts there Take 
could look at those right quick one more time. There you go. Here are all your white molded parts. They come in three different bags. And I really like that they do this because it lessens the chance of parts getting messed up, parts falling off the trees, and it helps them when they're shipping, I guess, to keep everything where it needs to be. So now what I'll do is just take all the stuff out of the bag and I'll give you guys an overview of all the detail on all these parts. Looking inside the first bag of white molded parts, they include the rear taillights here, four metal axle pins, the body, the hood and the trunk, as well as some engine parts here. This is a very nicely molded body here. 63 Impala is a very timeless classic. I have some nice details here, the battery molded here, as well as a line that goes down from the battery cable there. They also have what appears to be a washer bottle. Inner fender wells look nice. And there's your firewall area. Overall body looks to be very nice. The molding and casting and everything is very nice. And then here is your opening hood and trunk. Some nice reinforcing details here. The ribbing for the under hood and under trunk area. Here's your engine transmission setup. And these are molded in two halves. And this is similar to the Revell 85 Camaro kit as it has just a one piece top assembly here with the radiator hose. Then you have your front water pump front cover assembly as well as the oil pan here molded with the fuel pump starter and oil filter molded in. Nicely detailed. The next bag contains a parched tree with most of your interior stuff on it. You have your nicely molded door panels, your dashboard, the pedal assembly, your seats, seat backs, rear seat area, and the steering wheel. And then here is your really nice floor pan. Detailing this is excellent. You have the bottom of your rear seat here. And the way they molded this, uh, actually you can see here this is your trunk area as well. I like the way they molded this because all of your injector pin marks are on the bottom where you're not going to see them. And the interior is very flawless looking here with your center console. So there's that. Let you guys look at that for a second. Here's the last bag with the rest of your white molded parts. And this is actually the bulk of the white molded parts that come in the kit. You can see here you have your nice chassis pan. Excellent detail molding and casting on that. You have one of your front suspensions here, and you have the option to have a stock, lowered, or raised front and rear suspension. So that's kind of nice that they do that, whether you want to do the stock version with the stock wheels and tires, or the custom version, or they even have a, a raised up or lowered version that you can do with that. So that's really nice. Also here is this really nicely molded exhaust system. And then there's the other front suspension there. As well as your rear axle here, and these little lift blocks here. And this one contains your X-Brace chassis, as well as your radiator. They have some batteries here for the trunk, your radiator shroud. They have two sets of shocks that they include, drive shaft. Here's your nicely molded firewall there. Your ram horn exhaust manifolds, fan for the engine, differential center section there and then there's your other pair of shocks and your fan assembly here back in the 60s these things didn't have much but the crank the water pump and the alternator so it makes it really simple and then the last parts tree we have here which actually we moved these out it'll probably make it a little easier to see for you guys you have your stock intake some more blocks or no, I assume these are probably for your assembling your wheels here. And there is yet another pair of shocks. And then this is your center section that goes into the stock wheel because they have a spare tire that actually goes into the trunk, so that's nice. So whether you want to do the spare tire in the trunk, you want to do the batteries, either way it's going to look really nice. So excellent detail on all these parts here. I can't see anything that's wrong with them. A lot of these newer kits, they do have these little 
little pins here, a little, I guess, from casting. And you just knock those off and you're good to go. But other than that, I don't see any flash or any imperfections in all these parts. So all this is really excellent looking. After taking a good look at the 125th scale 1963 Chevy Impala SS 2-in-1 model kit from Marvell, I highly recommend this kit. Whether you're a fan of these older cars or you're an Impala lover or you just want to build something that's got some custom parts, this is the kit for you. You can build it stock, custom, and they even have a few low rider parts in here as far as the batteries and stuff like that. And you can do the suspension in three different versions, lowered, stock, or raised up. All the parts are excellently detailed. I don't see any flash on any of the parts. A few little injector pin marks here and there, but nothing that I'd really worry about. It shouldn't be too hard to take those off. Decals are excellent. The wheels and tires are really nicely molded and crafted. Overall, guys, just an excellent kit. I really, like I said, can't find anything wrong with this. The only slight thing, if I really want to be particular, the engine detail, there's a lot of detail molded in, and the whole top half of the engine is actually one piece. A lot of the stuff is molded in, but if you're good with an airbrush or a brush, then you shouldn't have a problem, you know, painting this up. So overall, guys, excellent kit. That about wraps it up. I'd like to thank you all for watching. You guys all have a great day. If you'd like to see more model kit reviews, please check out my channel. And also, there's a lot more model kit reviews coming, so please subscribe if you haven't already. Comment and rate this video. Let me know what you think. You guys all have a great day, and I'll see you soon.